Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your comments. If you do not subscribe to my channel, please do because I do actually uh, upload weekly and monthly tarot forecast. And if you are interested in additional guidance aside from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, please head over to either Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do actually draw and upload a daily oracle guidance card every single day. And of course, if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head over to northeasttarot.com and read about how I offer my private readings. Please be sure to watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign for these general tarot forecasts to get the most insight. If you do not know what your sun, moon, or rising signs are, I do actually have uh, listed below in the description bar a website that can calculate that for you for free. So again, I just want to thank you all for your support. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 6th through the 12th. This is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. Cancer. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Six of Cups. All right. So for some Cancers, you could be reminiscing a lot. You could be thinking back to the past. Um, for some other Cancers, children could be very significant this week. There definitely could be some Cancerian women that maybe are trying to start a family or maybe you're trying to expand your family. Um, but the Six of Cups um, can represent either someone or something from the past that is relevant here this week. So there certainly could be some Cancers maybe hearing from someone from your past. Someone could be popping back up. And then for some other Cancers, I think that you're waiting on some sort of closure when it comes to like a past matter because the overall energy Cancer for the week is the Four of Cups. So I think that some of you are waiting on something that you're emotionally invested in. It could be waiting on an offer to come through, maybe from a particular person. This energy can be, um, for some Cancers, this can be you feeling emotionally bored or flat. I think that for some of you, you are just kind of left waiting on someone or something in particular. But with that being said, we have new beginnings that are manifesting for you. So yes, maybe they're taking their time with manifesting. But I still see many of you uh, manifesting some sort of beautiful new beginning. Um, let me just see what I'm getting here. Quite possibly for some Cancers, there could have been an offer that came through. Or you could have actually presented an offer to someone, Cancer. You could have presented an offer. Maybe you're waiting on that person to accept. And then for some other Cancers, you could have received an offer... And maybe, maybe you're waiting on it. Maybe you're thinking about it. You might not have accepted it right away. You might not have turned it down. But for some of you, there's definitely an offer on the table. Um, I think with the Seven of Cups here, for many of you, you actually have a lot of options or a lot of choices when it comes to uh, a particular matter. Now, for some of you, maybe you're single, and this is you having a lot of suitors. Um, I see some Cancer women just incredibly attractive this week. You have this beautiful energy that's with you. We have the Empress here. So um, for some of you, this is you feeling very attractive. This is people around you um, really seeing you as just incredibly attractive, beautiful. Um, maybe you're incredibly creative as well. Um, for some of you, I think that... With this more dreamy, with the Seven of Cups, it's a very dreamy, sort of illusionary sort of energy. I think that for some of you, you're desiring certain things. You could be definitely with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups, definitely definitely re reminiscing a lot, really dreaming. You could be daydreaming. You could, you could be fantasizing about particular things. For some of you, this is on the love front, so you might have your eye on someone in particular. 
Um, so you could be watching this for like a cancer woman. Maybe you're interested in a cancer woman. This woman might have a lot going for her with the Empress here and then the Ten of Pentacles next to the Empress. She could be a business owner. So maybe you're interested in a Cancerian woman. And you could be watching this for a cancer woman. Um, I'm just seeing what I'm getting here. And then for some other uh, cancer, no matter if you're cancers, no matter if you're male or female, uh, I think that you're desiring something very much. I think that you're dreaming about it. You're daydreaming. You're fantasizing. Um, you could be waiting on news to come through in regards to this. And with the Page of Swords, it could be delayed. So this can represent delayed communication. But also with the, the Seven of Cups here, things could kind of feel like they're up in the air. There could be some confusion around a particular matter. Um, quite possibly, you might need to narrow it down. You might maybe need to make some decisions, Cancer. Uh, and this could be you putting something off. Um, you might be experiencing some sort of indecision. So for some of you, you might have a lot of options or a lot of offers on the table. In particular, maybe one or more that has come through. And maybe you're just taking your time. Maybe you're not acting on them or acting on that offer or opportunity just yet but um, I do see this as a blessing because we also have the ace of cups here and this is a blessing from the heavens coming through it's some sort of beautiful new beginning that is going to fulfill you on an emotional level so something that is exciting um, with the empress here and the ace of cups I feel like this would be rewarding on many levels not just emotionally with the ten of pentacles here for some of you this could be you giving birth to something new something that maybe you started in the past with the six of cups here this could definitely be a business for a very small number of cancers. You definitely could be starting your own business. This is you creating a name for yourself, establishing yourself financially. Um, this would be the very, maybe very early stages of this, of this business. With the Ace of Cups, it's a new beginning that you're going to fall in love with. Um, but with the Empress, it's something that is going to be incredibly rewarding for you. And for some of you, it's going to be financially rewarding for you. It's going to be very rewarding for your family. But I think that you're waiting on this with the Ace of Cups and then the Hanged Man. For some of you, you could be waiting on enlightenment. Again, you could be waiting on that communication or that news, maybe in regards to this. It simply might be delayed. It doesn't mean it's not coming. It just might be delayed this week. Um... With the hanged man, this can also be a voluntary energy. So there could be some cancers that maybe an offer has come through or you have some options on the table and you're taking your time with maybe acting on them. For some of you um, with the hanged man and then the two of swords diagonal, you very well might need to make a decision. So you might be a cancer that needs to make a decision. You're maybe taking a step back, looking at the larger picture um, maybe looking at things from a different perspective um, in order to be able to make that decision. So for some of you, I think that this is voluntary. I think you're maybe taking a step back, really going within, trying to make a decision. And then for some other cancers, I think that you're waiting on either a decision or enlightenment to come through in regards to something new in your life or something from the past that maybe you've already started. Um, you're waiting for things to be able to move forward with this. With the Seven of Wands, um, this can be a defensive energy, but also this is, this is what I call that warrior spirit. So this is someone who stands firm with what it is that they want. They're not, they're not willing to back down. They're not going to compromise. They're not going to quit. They're not going to settle. So for some of you, you want this very much and you're willing to maybe wait on whatever this is. You're not about to back down. Um, for some of you, you could even be defending this new beginning. I'm just seeing what else I'm getting here. So on the love front, you know, for those for those cancers who are already in a relationship, I actually see it being a wonderful week for you. If you're a cancer who has been trying to expand your family, um, I think you're going to be successful with that. So um, just keep trying. Uh, I think it's going to be a wonderful week. For those single cancers, you actually might have a lot of offers on the table. You might have a lot of suitors. 
Um, and I think that you're going to just feel more attractive this week. A lot of people are just attracted to your energy. Um, this is that very fertile energy. So if you're single and dating, just take caution with that. Um, yeah, but I think it's going to be a wonderful week for you. Emotionally, emotionally and financially, I think it's going to be a wonderful week for you. For some of you, you could be waiting on maybe some clarity, some news, a decision about a home or about assets, family matters, uh, property. You could be waiting on something like that. The Empress here, uh, for some of you, this can be a character. This could be your mother or this could be a woman around you that's very significant. It also could be your spouse. So for some of you, could be waiting on news from this Empress here. Um, but just hang in there. I, I see it coming through for you very shortly. So just hang in there. Let me pull you an additional guidance card, Cancer. Additional guidance for Cancer for this upcoming week. There we go. All right, so we have Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So communication could be very significant um, this week. Again, things could be delayed, but maybe by the end of the week, uh, you could be hearing something. So for some of you, communication is very significant. And then for some other, for some other um, Cancerians with the Seven of Cups here and then the Hanged Man, again, this can be voluntary. For some of you, you might need to make a decision. Um, see things for what, for what they really are. Listen to your intuition if you have to make a decision and don't allow insecurities to hold you back, okay? So Cancer, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.